There is a piece of music that has all the qualities of a great thriller novel. Incredible beauty, darkness, familiar characters, unexpected twists. And it all began with a very closely guarded secret. The piece of music is Miserere by Gregorio Allegri and was written in about 1638. As darkness falls during Holy Week, two choirs sing. One in the foreground and the other in the shadows. It was to be sung only in the Pope's private chapel, the Sistine Chapel in Rome. The elusiveness and beauty of the piece had become legendary, yet it could only ever be heard by those in attendance in the chapel when it was being performed in the week leading up to Easter. This piece of music was closely guarded property of the Vatican. So much so, if anyone tried to transcribe the single copy the choir used, they would become excommunicated from the Catholic Church. However, a child genius changed all that. In 1770, 14-year-old Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart visited the chapel with his father and listened to the music for the first time on the Wednesday of Holy Week. That evening, he wrote the entire piece out from memory. Just to make sure he hadn't made any mistakes, Mozart went back on the Friday and only made a few minor alterations. Just to appreciate how incredible this was, imagine someone telling you a 10 minute story and being able to write out the complete tale afterwards, word for word. Seems almost impossible, but that was the sort of person Mozart was. The Mozart family were Catholic and did not want to upset the Vatican, so they gave the music to Dr. Charles Burney, an Englishman who was compiling a history of music. Now he was Anglican, so he had no qualms about being excommunicated from the Catholic Church. Henry VIII had put pay to that 130 years earlier. That, however, is still not the same piece of music we now know. 50 years later, 22-year-old Felix Mendelssohn also heard the music in the Sistine Chapel and also wrote it down. Mendelssohn, Protestant, either heard it or chose to transcribe it in a different key to Mozart. His was a fourth higher. Now, this is important because this supplied the unexpected twist. A book, Grove's Dictionary of Music and Musicians, was compiled in 1880. And somehow, a part of Mendelssohn's version in C minor got intertwined with Mozart's version in G minor. And the result was a very surprising key change. It, instead of going from um, D down to B, it went up from D to C. But it worked, and it was brilliant. It made the music more haunting and more beautiful, especially as now there was a memorably high top C. However, there were more transcriptions of this work, and they were all very slightly different. The reason is that the original written form from the 17th century was very simplistic, with the singers themselves supplying all the ornamentation as they went along, rather like jazz musicians have a chord structure they follow, but mostly improvise. The current version we now know is a patchwork of all the transcriptions, collated in 1951 by the organist of Worcester Cathedral, Sir Ivor Atkins. It may not be exactly the same as Allegri's original version, but somehow the accidental changes and cast of familiar faces have made Miserere the most beautiful piece ever written. <laughs>